Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today we've got a product from VPeak. This is their mini OBD2 diagnostic scanner. Uh, this supports all OBD2 protocols, and it is made for Android. The model number is VP11, uh, and you can pick this guy up on Amazon for $11.99. This is an OBD2 diagnostic scanner for your vehicle and uh, you'll plug it into the port underneath your dashboard, usually located underneath your dashboard, and it will give you diagnostic uh, information such as uh, codes that the uh, system will throw at you, uh, if you get a check engine light, that type of thing, and then you can uh, check that information out uh, on your own without even having to take it in so you know what you're looking at before you even take it to a shop to get repaired. Now this will work uh, via Bluetooth for Android, this specific model. They do sell other models that are Wi-Fi for uh, iOS and Android. There are a few different um, models, specific models of this that you can buy uh, so uh, iOS users don't feel like you're left out. They do have those. I just happen to have the one for Android for review today. Now again, this is made by VPeak and you can check them out at www.vpeak.com. I'll have that link next to the uh, Amazon link where you can check uh, their website out as well. They do have a support email here as well. It's support at vpeak.com in case you need to get in touch with them. So let's take a look exactly uh, what the device looks like. They do give us a little insert as well that we can go over. Uh, here is the device. I'll put that to the side. Uh, and we do have our um, product description and how to use it. Uh, the, it's basically an ODP, a Bluetooth OD, or OBD adapter that can turn your Bluetooth enabled smartphone or tablet into a diagnostic scan tool and real time performance monitor. Uh, it supports all uh, legislated OBD2 protocols and works with all 1996 or newer cars and light trucks sold within the United States. Now you do have all of your protocols here that are supported, your SA, SAE protocols and your ISO protocols are all there. And uh, I tested it on a 2013 Regal, uh, Buick Regal tur uh, Turbo and had no problems with getting the information to come up. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're gonna to wanna to download and install the app. Uh, there is an app there's two apps actually that you can get if you go to vpeak.com and download the uh, apps. Uh, it is Torque Pro or Torque Lite and Dash Command. Uh, and I'll show you both of those today. Now you could use o o OBD Card uh, Doctor or uh, software like that. I used Dash Command and Torque Lite. I didn't use the Pro version, I used the Lite version because it was free. Uh, and I had no problem hooking this guy up. You basically pair it via Bluetooth to your smartphone and uh, it does have a pin code that it will ask for. It is one, two, three, four. And make sure that your ignition key is on the on position. Uh, and then you'll see a little light that will light up here off of this uh, board that's inside here. It'll be a red light uh, that will light up and you'll know that you're getting power to it. Uh, and then it's pretty much after that, you can just uh, turn on your smartphone and you will be able to run those programs and see uh, everything from uh, RPMs, uh, to uh, any uh, codes that may be uh, out, uh, thrown out from your car or anything like that. Uh, and you can actually also use uh, Windows to do this as well. Uh, you can use Scan Master, Scan Tool. Uh, there's a bunch of different OBD2 uh, programs that you can use on Windows as well if you want to hook it up to, say, like a laptop and then take your laptop out to the car, plug this guy in, uh, connect, connect it via Bluetooth as well, and then you can actually uh, look at it through a Windows system uh, as well. But I used my Android phone, and it worked very well. So you basically have to uh, find your... OBD2 diagnostic connector, which will look like this. It's going to be, uh, you know, uh, the female end of this. And uh, you just plug it straight in. Very easy, very simple. Uh, and they do give you uh, an FAQ and troubleshooting here. Uh, and they do have app uh, instructions, uh, settings, and functions. You can go check them out for Torque, Dash Command, uh, OBD Car Doctor, 
engine link, OBD Fusion, uh, and they've got them all here. Now you do get a two year warranty from your date of purchase. Uh, again, they put all their, their contact information here, so if you need it, you'll have it. So this guy is kind of handy. Uh, the biggest thing here, uh, when you are setting this guy up to check out your um, the information that it's going to output to your device is you're going to want to go and make sure that you have uh, your uh, APKs for Android installed. Uh, here's the Torque uh, app that I will launch really quickly. Now it's obviously not going to be um, totally set up because we don't have it plugged into the car but as you can see we can get fault codes we can get real-time information with ex uh, the rpms that your car is currently set at uh, you can graph your you can test it you can graph results you can get a map view uh, of where your car is located and uh, you can get the adapter status and you can actually get some plugins for this as well and then there's a settings button down here as well that you can use uh, so you can go in and you can set your vehicle profile like what year make and model and then if you go into settings you can grab uh, plugins um, for uh, this right now obviously have the one that helped the adapter status graphing testing results map view fault code so that you can get those done your real-time information and if you want to get more you can actually get more down here and it'll take you to torque-bhp.com where you can download other ones that you can use as well um, more fault codes um, track recorders all kinds of different things that you can do um, because you can actually do uh, trip uh, recording so that you know how much fuel you're using so say if I wanted to do like a 50 mile trip I can actually have this guy plugged in and it will report back to my phone and then it'll tell me my actual uh, miles per gallon and things like that that may be important to you if you would like to now that you've got adapter status and you can check out um, the status of your adapter which comes up on the first page here and as you can see it's not it's flashing up here which means it's um, not actually uh, plugged in it's not actually connected so I'm not going to get anything off that now the other one that I used was uh, dash commander and that one worked uh, really well as uh, also uh, we'll load that up really quick and show you uh, they ask you if it's in evaluation mode so uh, you can purchase uh, dash command to use all the features so you have some uh, limited feature here, but you do have your gauges so you can go in and you can check out uh, your gauges as far as your coolant temperature your miles per gallon um, You know everything that you can think of they've pretty much got in here uh, You've got your short-term fuel trim uh, You've got your load percentage. You've got all that in your gauges. Uh, you can check out diagnostics um, right now obviously at the bottom I'll say read codes it's not going to read it because it's not connected via Bluetooth to the car uh, but they'll come up in a list just like this where they're either green or they're like a yellow for warning or a red which means it's throwing a code uh, that you need to investigate um, and you can clear codes with this too but you have to be really careful about doing that uh, you don't want to clear codes on something before you read everything you don't want to clear an important code because uh, your vehicle is telling you if you have a red one that you're going to have some sort of problem like an O2 sensor or anything that might be a red code in here. You don't really want to clear it uh, unless you know what you're doing because honestly you would clear out something that um, could potentially harm your car if you don't take it in for service or take care of it yourself. Uh, you have performance um, uh, and this is more of like a real time again miles per hour your rpms uh, your horsepower all of that stuff um, is all here for you to check out and then you have a data grid that you can bring up to show you everything you've got skip pad uh, race track your settings again you can go in and check the settings here and this is the button you're not connected button you'll connect hit connect once this guy's plugged in you have bluetooth on on your phone you just hit connect it'll take a second to connect up to uh, the vpeak and then you'll be all set and then you'll be able to check all these out so uh, again you can go into uh, uh, settings and you can full screen mode or show it on the status bar on your uh, phone uh, demo mode which we can 
add if we want to, uh, enable GPS to track uh, where your car is, accelerometer or that type of thing, uh, screen orientation, and some other ones too. Again, your interface type, I had to change my interface type to uh, OBD link. Uh, OBD key or compatibles, that's going to be your most, your ELM, that's going to be your most um, frequently used one when using this VPeak. Uh, so you'll have that, but it also has, you know, GoPoint technology and uh, OT-2. Uh, um, so you've got all that there. Uh, and then your uh, data port is going to be uh, my Bluetooth device, which is OB, OBD2. Uh, you can put in a custom IP. You can put in a USB device. So this program will actually interact with other ones, obviously, than just the VPeak. But to get the VPeak, we just had to pair it up and then make sure that we had it selected in our data port settings, and then it was pretty much good to go. Uh, so, uh, And you can change your units, too, and your date and time and everything. You can do them in empirical units. Uh, you can do you know weight uh, in pounds or kilograms you can do you know area in um, you can change those you can change pressure you can change fluid pressure boost pressure speed so you've got a ton of different things that you can do with this overall this guy obviously I went a little uh, far into the programs that I use that vpeak recommends to use with this uh, you can download them right from vpeak.com this guy was $11.99 and with Amazon Prime uh, being a Prime member free shipping uh, very quick two days it'll be in your hand very easy to set up super easy to uh, pair with your phone uh, and gives you a lot of uh, great uh, information uh, this is definitely a thumbs up from vpeak great price point uh, does exactly what it's intended to do and uh, does it very easily uh, very easy to set up so we're giving, like, giving this guy a thumbs up this was luke from galaxy tech review if you got any questions or comments about the vpeak you can leave them in the comment section below i'll get back to you as soon as possible please like and subscribe and i will check you guys out on the next video